Today I'm going to show you how to use the comparable interface in Java to sort custom objects using the sort method. When I was studying this in college it was a bit confusing, but don't worry, it is actually very simple and we will go over every detail, so let's get started. So, Comparable Interface is a Java interface used to compare objects on a single element like year, name, price and so on. In this case we will be sorting cars based on their ID. So every car has a name and an ID and we will be using ID to sort the cars. And so like any interface we must implement it in our class. So you write our class implements compar comparable and inside these brackets you want to write the name of the class you want to compare. So in this case it's car. If you are comparing your own class you just put the name of your own class inside of there. The next thing we want to do is we want to implement uh, the methods that come in the comparable interface. As you can see we have an error here. It says the car must implement the abstract methods from comparable. So you can just click add unimplemented methods or write this out yourself. And once you have implemented the method, you need to write the code. So I've already prepared it here because it's simpler for me to explain, but it's not that hard. Okay, so we are comparing two objects. We are comparing the object upon which we are calling the method and object that we are passing in here and that is some object, car object. So this refers to the object that we call the method upon and O is an object that we passed as a parameter. And if they're the same value, we should return zero. If our object has greater value than the object we passed, we should return 1, and if our object has uh, less value, we should return minus 1. And that's how this method works. If you want to sort it the other way, you will just return minus 1 when your object is bigger. That is basically it from the compare method. It's, it's not that hard. I know it looks a bit confusing, but you just choose one element on which you're going to compare. In this case we use the ID. And if these two objects have the same ID, we should return 0. If ours is bigger, we should return 1. And if it's less, we should return minus 1. And now I will demonstrate it on a few examples so it becomes clearer. And by now you might be wondering, what do I need comparable interface for? It's really useless. But it's not, and I will show you why. In here I've created a few cars and stored them inside my array list. If you don't know what an array list is, you can check the, check the link in the description because I made a fantastic video about it. Then I added all these cars in my array and then I print their IDs. As you can see, they go in the order in which they are added, so same like here. But what happens if you need to sort the cars? What happens if your customer wants to see cars sorted by ID? You can do something like this. So you can use the sort method from collections. Every, every class that implements comparable can use this method to sort its elements. And since our class implements comparable, we can use it. So collection it's collections.sort and your array. So you can use it on strings, you can use it on integers because they automatically implement comparable. And now we can use it on our car class because we implement comparable. So you do collections.sort and you pass your array which you want to sort. And now when we print it, so we save it and run the program, you can see that the elements are sorted. They go 5, 8, 10, 33 and 100. If you wanted to sort them other way around, you would just change this to lower 
and actually you would uh, make this the same but you would put minus one here and one here and now when we run it should go other way around as you can see 133 10 8 5 and that's basically it from the comparable interface you can see it is not hard you only need to make one method compare two and that's pretty much it after that you can just use collections.sort and you're set to go if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments and i'll see you in the next video bye